¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos al curso básico de inglés Do you speak English? ¿Hablas inglés? Muy bien, hoy hemos llegado a nuestra clase número 75 y vamos a estar estudiando 50 very useful verbs in English second part 50 verbos muy irregulares en inglés segunda parte muy bien, los objetivos en inglés para esta clase son Primero, reconocer un segundo grupo de 50 verbos muy útiles en inglés en tiempo presente Segundo, comprender el uso de estos 50 verbos en un contexto real dentro de varias oraciones Y tercero, memorizar estos 50 verbos para usarlos en nuestra vida diaria Así pues, espero que al final de esta lección podamos cumplir estos tres logros <coughs> Bien, comenzamos. To live, vivir, to live. They live in Mexico. They live in Mexico. Then we have to look, mirar, to look. James always looks at me. James always looks at me. Este James equivale a él, es una tercera persona, por lo tanto el verbo Vamos a agregarle una S de tercera persona. Now we have to lose. Perder. To lose. My sister always loses her car keys. My sister always loses her car keys. To make. Hacer. To make. I am going to make a good lunch. I am going to make a good lunch. Ok, now we have to do, hacer, to do. I have to do my homework now. I have to do my homework now. To need, necesitar, to need. We need $25. We need $25. To shut, cerrar. To shut, we have Diego is going to shut the door. Diego is going to shut the door. To open, abrir, to open. And here we have they want to open the window. They want to open the window. To close, cerrar, to close. I am going to close the door. I am going to close the door. Our next verb is to organize, organizar, to organize. I organize my backpack every night. I organize my backpack every night. To pay, pagar, to pay. Say Peter pays in cash. Peter pays in cash. Peter, ter tercera persona y el verbo le agregamos la S de esa tercera persona Peter pays now we have to play jugar, to play Antonio plays again, basketball very well Antonio plays basketball very well good, now we have to put poner, to put I am going to put the flowers in a, in a vase I am going to put the flowers in a vase. To quit, dejar de, to quit. And uh, we have, I need to quit smoking. I need to quit smoking. To rain, llover, to rain. Here it rains every day. Here it rains every day. It, tercera persona, el verbo va con ese. To read, leer, to read. Bertha reads a lot. Bertha reads a lot. Tercera persona, Bertha, ella, el verbo va con ese. Ok, to reply, responder, to reply. Please reply to my email. Please reply to my email. Now we have to run, correr, to run. And we say, Kike runs five miles every day. Kike runs five miles every day. Now we have to say, decir, 
to say, can you say that again, please? Can you say that again, please? To see, ver, to see. They see their parents every weekend. They see their parents every weekend. To sell, vender, to sell. And the example we have is, they sell this painting for $900. They sell this painting for $900. Very good. Now we have to send, enviar, to send. Mauricio sends money to his family in Peru. Mauricio, tercera persona, el verbo va con S. Mauricio sends money to his family in Peru. To sign, firmar, to sign. And here we have, you have to sign the contract, please. You have to sign the contract, please. To sing, cantar, to sing. Olga sings very well. Olga es tercera persona, she, el verbo va con ese. Olga sings very well. Okay, now we have to sit, sentarse, to sit. Where is he going to sit at the concert? Where is he going to sit at the concert? To sleep, dormir, to sleep. My brother sleeps a lot. My brother sleeps a lot. Tercera persona, sleeps. To smoke, fumar, to smoke. I don't like to smoke. I don't like to smoke. Then we had to speak, hablar, to speak. And I can say, my father speaks Japanese. My father speaks Japanese. To spell, deletrear, we say to spell, R-A-U-L. And the question is, how do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? Very good. Now we had to spend, gastar, to spend. Robert spends a lot of money. Robert spends lots of money. Tercera persona, el verbo con ese. Okay, to stand. Ponerse de pie. To stand. Say, stand up, please. Stand up, please. Okay. To start. To start. Comenzar. The movie starts in one hour. También el the movie es un es una cosa, es una tercera persona, el verbo va con s. Okay, to begin, comenzar. We begin the day with a good cup of coffee. We begin the day with a good cup of coffee. I love coffee. To study, estudiar. To study. Helen studies hard for her test. También vimos que en, creo que en, la, en el video anterior mencionábamos que los verbos terminados en Y van a formar la tercera persona cambiando esta Y por una Y latina y agregamos ES. Helen es ella, she, es una tercera persona. Helen studies hard for her, her test. We have to succeed, tener éxito. To succeed. I want to succeed in my career. I want to succeed in my career. Now we have to swim, nadar, to swim. Joshua swims very well. Joshua swims very well. Joshua, tercera persona, el verbo va con ese. To take, tomar, to take. Take the book from the shelf, please. Take the book from the shelf, please. Okay, to talk, hablar, to talk. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Now we have to teach, enseñar, to teach. And we say, Diego teaches in high school. Diego teaches in high school. Tercera persona, Diego. To tell, decir, to tell. And the example is, I am going to tell you a secret. I am going to tell you a secret. To think, pensar to think. Give me some time to think about it. Give me some time to think about it. To translate, traducir. 
to translate. I can translate this manual in Spanish. I can translate this manual in Spanish. Very good. Then we have to travel. Viajar to travel. We want to travel all over the world. We want to travel all over the world. Good. Now we have to try. Intentar to try. Try to park over there in that spot. Try to park over there in that spot. Have to turn off. Apagar to turn off. Turn off the television, please. Turn off the television, please. Now we have to turn on. Encender to turn on. Turn on the television, please. Turn on the television, please. To type. Escribir a máquina. Yo digo, I can type very fast. I can type very fast. To understand. Entender. To understand. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Now we have to use. Usar también es utilizar. To use. We always use the sit bell. We always use the sit bell. To wait. Esperar. To wait. We don't wait for more than 30 minutes. We don't wait for more than 30 minutes. Ok amigos, es el final de la clase número 75, very, 50 very useful verbs in English, second part, 50 verbos muy útiles en inglés, esta es la segunda parte. Una vez más les pido el favor que por favor se suscriban al canal, que me ayuden a crecer en audiencia en, en este canal, por favor comenta, compártelo con otras personas, regálame un like o un me gusta y voy a estar muy contento, voy a estar muy feliz porque significa mucho para el canal y para mí. Marca este video como uno de tus favoritos y recuerda activar la campana de notificaciones. Así cada vez que tengamos una clase nueva, te va a llegar una advertencia diciendo hay una nueva clase para tomar. Yo espero verte en nuestra siguiente clase, la clase número 76, donde vamos a estar hablando acerca de la construcción de oraciones en inglés. Va a ser una clase ya con un poquito más de, de gramática y también quiero decirle que nos vamos acercando poco a poco al final de este curso básico y vamos a iniciar con el curso eh, intermedio de inglés. Mi nombre es Raúl Joven León. Mi correo electrónico rjoven66 arroba gmail.com Escríbeme, escríbeme, manda, mándame todos sus comentarios, sugerencias, yo contesto todos los correos. También quiero dejarte mis redes sociales para mi canal de español en YouTube, en Facebook y en Twitter. Ahí me puedes encontrar en diferentes plataformas. Son los mismos videos, pero eh, bueno, hay personas que prefieren una plataforma eh, de redes social especial, así que ahí tengo... Eh, tres de las más comunes. También tengo mi canal de inglés, Do You Speak English. También me encuentras en Facebook, en Twitter y aquí en YouTube. Así que eh, espero que me visites, que me mandes sus comentarios y que sigamos en contacto. Sin ser más por el momento, agradezco tu presencia y tu participación en esta clase. Yo espero verte en la clase número 76. ¡Hasta la vista, amigos!